Hey guys, it's Billy, and today I'm gonna show you how you can sew a hanyeri on your nagajupa. A common problem when you get a new nagajupa, there is not the white extra color in it. Okay, it has not to be white, but there is an extra color in it, so it's not able to wear it with your kimono. So you have to sew a hanyeri on it. So I got uh, a bunch of hanyeri, five pieces in one set. These are super old, so I got this uh, in a recycle store, super cheap for like 1000 yen, which is 10 dollars or 10 euros. And because it's real silk, you need 100% silk yarn. It's not a must, but it's better when you sew with it. And I also got um, needles for kimono sewing. You can see there's a kimono in it, so <laughs> it's just for kimono sewing. Okay, let's get started. I run the hanyeri first. Fold the edge of the hanyeri for about 4 cm and iron it. This will help you to sew this part later. Do the same on the other side. Sew these parts easily together. I always make stitches with 1 cm on top, a few millimeters inside, 1 cm on top, a few millimeters inside. This is the inside of the hanyeri. So this stitch is very important because it just shows a millimeter or a few millimeters on the real top of the hanyeri. Now you fold the long edge of the hanyeri for about a centimeter upwards and iron it. This is by the way still only the inside. Lay the middle of the nagajupan in front of you and my tip is to pin the nagajupan in place. Now you have to find the middle of the han area. When it's a new hanyeri, you can use the fold in the center and adjust this fold to the sinui, the center back seam of the nagashupan. Start always in the middle of the collar. Pin it in place. And then you pin left and right next to your first pin. After that you pin down the right side and then the left side. Sew the corner on the nagashupa. Now you make long and rough stitches until you reach the katayama 
and the length of the stitches can be from 4 to 5 cm. You can see I have a long stitch on the top and just a few millimeters inside and then I get a long stitch on the top. So now we reach the sleeves, the sode, and this means we also reach the katayama. And this is the place where we switch stitches. This stitch shows on top just like a little dot. So just a few millimeters, then you have one or two centimeters inside. Then again, just a little dot on the top. And that's how you go on until you reach the next katayama. When you reach again the next katayama, you switch stitches back to the first stitch. So back to long and rough stitches. Sew the corner again on the nagajuban and then we're done for the first side. This is where I iron once again. Now we start with the inside of the nagajuban. So you fold the hanyari around the collar and then you fold the left over inside. I always try to iron it a little because this makes it easier to pin everything in place. You can see again I'm starting in the center. And then I iron and pin my way down on the left and on the right side. And then you sew again exactly the same way I showed you before. Last not but least, ironing. And never forget to test with your erishin once. If you like this video, leave a comment and a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!